Hello everyone, we welcome you to this edition of News You Can Use. I'm your host, Thera Martin Milley, and I am delighted to be here with you on this program. And we've got an action-packed show, let me tell you. We're gonna start right in by telling you we're gonna put the spotlight on uh, Pennsylvania pastors and ministers in support of Dr. Jerry Young. Dr. Jerry Young is from Mississippi. He's a dynamic pastor and he's running for president of the National Baptist Convention USA Inc. And so we have Reverend James Moore here to tell us about this Dr. Jerry Young and also joining him Dr. Arthur is here as well. And so we're looking forward to hearing what they have to tell us about uh, this Dr. Jerry Young out of Mississippi and they'll do that in a moment. A little bit later on as we turn the page on the program we're going to hear from concerned black men. They're doing a lot of positive work in Philadelphia. And finally, as we wrap things up on this edition of News You Can Use, Mr. Bob uh, Butler will join us. Tom Butler will join us, that is. And he's going to talk about the tedious process of applying for financial aid for college. So it's all going to work to the good of everybody who checks out the show. We'll be back in a moment with our first guest. Stay with us. And we're back now. Dr. Arthur White joins us. Also, we have with us Reverend James Moore and both of these wonderful ministers and pastors are here to tell us about what's going on with the National Baptist Convention USA Inc. and the fact that they have a an election coming up in the fall, September of 2014. But now's the time to make your decision. So gentlemen, thank you for coming, both of you. Thank you, Thera, for inviting Yes, yes, yes. We're delighted to have you thank both. Thank you. Now, um, on April the 28th, which is just a couple of days from now, Dr. Jerry Young will be in Philadelphia? Yes, the 24th. The 24th? Yes. yes. Uh, that's Thursday. Yes, he will, sir. He will be in town and it will be a rally for Pennsylvanians who support him and uh, those who uh, still question and, and still on the fence, uh, they'll have an opportunity to engage him in questions and about his vision for the National Baptist Convention USA Incorporated. Now, the National Baptist Convention is like the largest group of uh, Baptist pastors and ministers in the nation, correct? Correct. And it has a long-standing history, a strong, proud history. And so it's now time for a new administration to come forward. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, our president, president, uh, Dr. Julius Josh Scruggs, uh, decided not to run for a second term. Mm -hmm. And so this opened the... Uh, the opportunity for, for someone else and Dr. Jerry Young, uh, who has been serving for 15 years, mm -hmm. first under Dr. Shaw and now I'm under Dr. Scruggs. Uh, as the vice president at large? As vice president at large on, uh, with Dr. Scruggs and as uh, Southwestern vice president under Dr. Shaw. Mm -hmm. So um, I can imagine it's challenging to come to a decision because there's so many great leaders under the banner of the National Baptist Convention USA, Inc. Uh, but at some point in time, folks have to sort of zero in on which are the best of the best. Is that how it goes? Yes, and, and we feel like uh, Dr. Young is probably uh, is the one that's better suited for our convention at this time. And he's been in the trenches and been close up for the last 15 years. And uh, we like his vision mm -hmm. for the convention and uh, we see him uh, even as an extension from even when Dr. Shaw was president, that he would continue to uh, carry the convention on to higher heights. So Thursday, April 24th, is going to be an exciting time in Philadelphia. Tell our viewing audience where they can come and connect and be a part of this great rally to welcome Dr. Young to Philadelphia. James, you got the exact address. Uh, yes, uh, Thursday at 7 o'clock at the Greater Faith Baptist Church, pastored by the Reverend Larry Marcus, 4031 Barron Street in West Philadelphia at seven o'clock. Uh, that will be the rally and we will gather there and we will have an exciting time and we will worship and then we will hear Dr. Young's presentation. That's what I was gonna ask you next. Um, what people can expect to happen. For folks who've never been to a, a church rally before, maybe they've been to a political mm. rally, maybe they've been to some kind of a rally for a sports event, but not to a church rally. So how does that unfold? Well, they can expect uh, to be in a worshipful setting. Mm -hmm. 
they can expect uh, the electricity that, mm -hmm. that, that you find in a worshipful setting in the African American church. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they can expect uh, songs from choirs that sing songs that angels time. cannot sing. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, and then persons who will uh, give their statements of support as mm -hmm. to why they support Dr. Dr. Young. Yeah. And then uh, Dr. Young will be and presented, and he will share his own vision for the mm -hmm. convention. Mm -hmm. So now, as people come out uh, to the rally, and and folks are lining up their support for Dr. Jerry Young, um, who gets to actually vote once it comes time for the National Baptist Convention in September, which is going to be in New Orleans this year, right? Yes. New Orleans, yes. yes. Okay. How uh, does that happen? Uh, the delegates from the churches, uh, if you've registered over the last five years. Mm -hmm you will have uh, one vote for each year. Uh, so uh, most of the churches from the area are those who are in support and have registered. They will have five votes uh, in September. Mm -hmm. okay. And so hopefully we can get as many churches as we can uh, to come to New Orleans with their five delegates. Okay, so the excitement is building. Yes. Um, before we run out of time, I want each of you gentlemen to speak about your church, where you're located, and to invite people to come and worship at your church. I am at uh, Second Mount Zion Baptist Church, which is in West Philadelphia, 3814 Parish, mm -hmm. and uh, you're delighted to come out. We have two services each Sunday at 745 and 10 o'clock. And we look forward to seeing you. All right. And Dr. White? I'm at Christ Community Baptist Church, 41st and Parkside, in the uh, East Parkside section of uh, West Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, we invite, we are a community church and very community involved. We invite folk to come join us and, and serve in the neighborhood. Absolutely. So now back to the rally real quick. Sure. Again, it's this Thursday. It's April the 24th. It starts at 7 p.m. Yes. yes. Now, Baring Street, I think of that as Palton Village. Am I right or wrong? You're very close. Okay. And it would be considered uh, yeah. Palatine okay. Village. Probably West Palatine. But it's off Lancaster Avenue. Off Lancaster, between Lancaster and Market. Okay, so West Philly, basically it's West Philly, easy to find. Yes. A great church to come and worship in, and you'll have a good old time if you come out for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. A final statement you want to give on, on Dr. Jerry real quick? Dr. Dr. Young uh, has, an, has an exciting vision, and, uh, and he intends to transform the convention under his tenure from being so convention focused to being denominationally mm -hmm. focused and that's important in the church history of mm -hmm. African Americans when the, when the church when, it, when the denomination uh, speaks for the community and, and very and acts for the community mm -hmm. that's going to be an exciting transition All for right. us. Don't forget, come on out this Thursday, April the 24th, 7 p.m. in West Philadelphia, 38th and Baring. Check it out, Dr. Jerry Young. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for being Thank with you us. So Thank much. you. And I want you to come back again when we have more time because be. each Thank of you. you has a lot to share. Thank you. All right. Thank We're going to keep going forward with this edition of News You Can Use next. We'll shine the spotlight on concerned black men. Stay with us. Hey fellow TV viewers, are you bored? Are you tired of the same old shows? Having thousands of channels to watch, but there's nothing there? Tired of sitting by yourself on your old mama's striped couch? Sitting in your room by yourself, watching someone who resembles your grandfather? Yeah, I know, I used to be just like you. By now, all hope is lost. You're flipping through channels, wondering what to watch. Boring, 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 boring. Wait, what's this? LaSalle TV. It's new, it's bold, it's great. It's not your ordinary TV.
I told you next up we'd shine the spotlight on Concerned Black Men. Well, they are here. Mr. Todd Harrison, the president, is here from Concerned Black Men. And Mr. Bobby James is here, and he heads up the college tours for Concerned Black Men. And I have to say, I love you. I love you. You're the coolest dude I've met in a long time. He can drive a bus better than anybody that I know. Greyhound drivers, watch out. Because <laughs> I've ridden with Mr. Bobby twice now uh, as we took students on college tours, and it was uh, so positive and wonderful. Uh, students from various schools here in Philadelphia who might not, might not otherwise have had an opportunity to do something like this, except for concerned black men making that opportunity available for them. So congratulations to you guys for loving our kids enough to make those kind of trips. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So give us a quick overall view of Concerned Black Men, and then we'll talk about what you do with the colleges. Okay, great. Concerned Black Men, um, we're an organization that work with kids in the city, in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. um, we, we're built on mentoring. Um, 1975, five police officers from Philadelphia came together and wanted to do something to make a change in the community. They mm -hmm. wanted to make sure that they highlighted the positive young youth that was in Philadelphia instead of all of the negative that was mm -hmm. going on. And they wanted to make sure they showed that it was some positive youth in Philadelphia also. Mm -hmm. So um, they came together and they, they decided to um, have a banquet for, for kids yeah. to uh, showcase them, to showcase them doing positive things in their community, positive things in school, positive things in their church, and also um, just, you know, being positive young people mm -hmm. in Philadelphia. I know that um, out of that banquet that you all turned into an annual soiree, yes. um, it became scholarship money yes. for some young people to sort of help them along with their books or some other things related to college, correct? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. This is our 39th year mm -hmm. of having our um, African American Youth Recognition Awards banquet. Uh, this year is going to be on May 17th at 38, 3801, uh, 38, 3801 Market mm -hmm. Street mm -hmm. uh, at First District Plaza. Yeah. And um, we're going to honor over 30 kids this year, mm -hmm. 30 youth uh, from, from Philadelphia and surrounding area. Um, so we raise money to um, give the kids an opportunity to go, go off to school. It's nothing that's going to keep them in school. To, you know, it's not a four-year four, yeah. four scholarship. It's something to get them started. Helps. You it know, it helps, helps to get them started, it get them traveling and books difference. and things of that sort. Now, I remember now, tell me if I'm, I'm dating myself here. Um, when Concerned Black Men, I know you're on Ogons Avenue and you have the headquarters there and it's wonderful. And you all used to have the young people in on Saturdays um, yes. doing uh, chess, learning how to play chess and things of that nature. Does that kind of activity still happen? Yes, we still have our Saturday morning mentoring mm -hmm. program and we mm -hmm. also have our chess program which okay. meets uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from um, 5.30 to 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually this year our chess program actually won um, the, the Pennsylvania State Chess oh, Tournament great. this year after only their third time competing this mm -hmm. year. So, um, so we're very proud of our chess program. Sure, sure. They made leaps and bounds. Uh, and Coach George, Coach Mike George, and Coach Ali do, do a great job with the kids. I think originally um, I had it in my head, Concerned Black Men, okay, they deal with boys. They help to uplift our young boys in our neighborhood, and, and that's their focus. But I was wrong because yes. you also uplift our young ladies, and that's special too. Yes, females, they need they need mentoring also, mm -hmm. um, and we're here for the youth of Philadelphia. Yeah. Um, so it's not just males; females can come and also um, participate in our activities that we have. Oh, we got mainly um, in the concerned black men. Our motto is uh, caring for our youth, mm -hmm. yes. and that includes uh, the females. You know, we have programs for them. You know, the, uh, the college tour program, the awards banquet, mm -hmm. and then, uh, things of that nature so mm -hmm. that they can be involved as well. But the commitment that you men make to this thing, it's, it's, it's you know, more than a notion to say, I'm going to help some young people out and then to actually do it. The time that you take to, to dri drive the bus and then be big daddy for all of these young people who are on campuses sometimes for the first time in their life, some of them and to show them how to act and how to conduct themselves and what to expect and what to do. It's a commitment that you made and that you made to be the president. To be a leader is not an easy task to be a leader of anything. So again, I'm taking my hats off to you gentlemen and to the other men who stand behind you, who we can't see right now on this TV set, but who definitely stand behind you to keep Concerned Black Men alive. It is great work that you do. Let's talk a little bit more about these college tours and how they happen and how you can put it all together and so smoothly. Well, the college tour program, uh, I've been a member of Conservative Black Men uh, for the past 
22 years. And wow. uh, I've been a part of the college tour program for the past 21 of mm -hmm. those 22 years, mm -hmm. um, uh, either in the capacity of uh, chairman or co-chair of the program. And what we do, we, we, we realize that a lot of, of, of uh, African-American families uh, do not have the resources or can afford to take off time from their, from their uh, work uh, to take their children to, to uh, tour colleges. Mm -hmm. So we decided that we will, you know, take on that responsibility, you know, to help, our, help, help out our, our youth. Because if some of these kids don't get exposed uh, to the colleges, they will never ever mm -hmm. attend. Um, some of the colleges that we go to, some of the students that they'd never heard of before. Mm -hmm. And and, uh, and 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 so it's 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 just a blessing, and you know we just want them, we just want them to 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 get the, the 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 guidance you know that they need because education, like anything else, you know, it, it's it's a commodity, and you you really have to go, and it's a process to get to college. Mm -hmm. So we have to teach them that 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 process so that our kids can you know move on to higher education. Mm. Well, on behalf of Allegheny West Foundation and Dobbins High School, we thank you for including our little world in your world as you do some of the great college tours that you're doing. Oh, we are so proud to have you come yeah. aboard. I yeah. mean, you it's have been, been really a blessing to us. It's been yeah. fun. We're learning a lot, let me tell you that. Now, how can more men who are sitting back watching this show right now and thinking, I need to stop being a couch potato and get up right. and do something, and they might want to join Concerned Black Men. What's the process? The process is uh, just come to show up. Um, we meet every fourth Saturday of the month uh, for our general body meetings. Um, you, can, you are more than welcome to come to 7200 North 21st Street. It's in the West Oak Lane section of Philadelphia, um, right there at 72nd and Old Mountains. Um, and also, or you can call us, 215-276-2260. Or you can visit us on our website, which is cbmphila.org. Okay. So uh, you can get all the information right from our website. You can call us. You can come to our building. <coughs> and um, we're, we're there. You know, and, and we're welcoming men to come yeah. and, and take part and, 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 and care for our youth, just like we have been doing since 1975. Okay. Uh, also Final we, thought. Uh, also, we have uh, a recruitment drive uh, that's going to take place on Saturday, May 3rd, May 3rd. Um, on the 1400 block of uh, Belfield Avenue, at Porter's Daycare mm -hmm. facility there in North Philly. Thank you mm -hmm. for sharing yes. that. What time? Uh, it's all day of All, day, all affair. day long. Yes. Yes. For concerned black men. Yes. All right, gentlemen, thank you for joining us. I appreciate thank you coming. You. I wish we thank had you. more time to share, but we're thank running you. out real quick. Okay, that's it for this section of our show. We'll come back in a moment, and we're going to find out about the money. Show me the money for college with Mr. Tom Butler. Stay with us.
Here we go. We're back with our news you can use. I'm the host, Thera Martin Milling, and my friend Tom Butler sits by my side right now. How are you, my friend? Fine, Thera. Fine. Good, Always good. a pleasure. To good to see you. And yes. for all of the years that I've known Tom Butler, he has been, I call him the guru about where the money is for college. <laughs> show me the money. And so many parents want to answer to that. Yes, yeah, show me yes. the money so I can get my young person in That's college. Right. That's right. So uh, the day that we're taping this show, it is um, Earth Day, actually, April mm -hmm. the 22nd. Yes. Now, people will see this show off and on throughout the summer sure, <laughs> but sure. uh, certainly the deadline yeah. for any uh, person who is trying to get their financial aid together for the fall semester of yes. 2014 we're yeah. talking August yes the deadline is when May 1 2014 mm -hmm. so in the next few days uh, in order to be eligible for the Pell Grant mm -hmm. the fee estate grant which are the free monies from the federal and the state May 1st is the deadline. Okay. Um, you can get money after that May yeah. 1st timeline, but you're going to get loans. Mm -hmm. You're going to get maybe whatever the school has to offer. But a lot of times, even by now, for instance, schools have given away a lot of their free money. Mm -hmm. So you'll still be in a loan window, okay. but you won't be in that grant window. How much tougher is it when a young person decides, oh, I want to go to school out of state because I want to go to Delaware State University yeah. or, yeah. or uh, University of Maryland Eastern Shore? Yeah. Is there still some money for that? There, there, there's, there's money, and what, what families need to understand is, first off, what types of schools they're applying to. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you, you mentioned University of, I mean, Delaware State and Maryland Eastern Shore, mm -hmm. University of Maryland Eastern Shore. They are state universities in Maryland, which means that their cost of tuition mm -hmm. benefits a Maryland resident. Yes. If you are a Pennsylvania student, you go to a Pennsylvania state-owned university or a Pennsylvania state-related university mm -hmm. like Temple, Lincoln mm -hmm. University. Mm -hmm. Those schools will LaSalle. be less. LaSalle actually is a private school, okay. so you can live across the street from LaSalle or live in California. You're going to pay the, the same, same tuition. Okay. Same right. tuition, mm -hmm. uh, but state-related or state-owned schools. So Cheney University, Westchester, Bloomsburg, Mansfield. Yes. Those schools, you're going to get a significant reduction because you're a Pennsylvania resident. Mm -hmm. And then when your financial aid kicks in, it, it takes it down even more. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the bottom line is that for, say a person, a young person is in 10th grade right now, yeah. watching this show, That's right. and they're going to graduate, they're going to pass to the next grade sure. in June. Yes. So come September, they'll be in junior, uh, uh, be a junior yes. in 11th grade. Yes, sir. So is that when the process really gets started? I mean, you got your PSATs, your yeah. SATs, all of this stuff hitting you. Yeah, I, I think I say, I, what I want to say is y your process really should start even in elementary school. However, mm -hmm. however, formal processing, which is when I call coming out to the broader world, is that PSAT, and usually that's in the junior year. Mm -hmm. Why the junior year? You could take the PSAT any year you want mm -hmm. to. Matter of fact, the school district of Philadelphia used to offer it in the 10th grade. Mm -hmm. But the 11th grade is when you not only qualify for colleges and they're looking at your so scores, but you also qualify for the National Merit Scholarship. Okay. So that's the 11th grade year is a pivotal year, and that's when I say, like I said, you come out to the college world. They'll start looking at you for real and in earnest around that time. Okay. Now that whole application process for mm -hmm. colleges, mm -hmm. things like if you volunteered while you were still in high yeah. school, um, getting involved in extracurricular yes. activities that yes. are positive, yes. all of that can help? All of that can help. One might think, and, and the most important thing colleges will look at are grades, and they'll look at all your final mm -hmm. yeah. grades of your high school mm -hmm. year, mm -hmm. but um, they are going to also look at your, if they require standardized tests like a SAT or the ACT, they will look for, they'll look at those. That won't be the only thing they'll cut you off or get you in. They also are looking for the well-rounded student. So the more you can project or show them uh, that you've been engaged or involved with a number of things, and that yes. even includes work. So if you have to mm -hmm. work, mm -hmm. demonstrate or show that you not only are working, but that you are also raising in ranks. So you may have become a supervisor or a manager. Right. You, you should write that down. And mm -hmm. that's what's important also is to whatever you're doing, write it down. Okay. Do a lot of colleges still fall back on, we also want an essay from a prospective student? Do you the, find that? Many, many schools do want the one essay. Some mm -hmm. will require it, some will not. Mm -hmm. I say you should, every student should have what was called a personal statement, which will explain who you are. Mm -hmm. Remember that with the college application, which asks you basically your demographic information and yes. where you live, where mm -hmm. you went to school, that's the most they're going to ask on that. Having something that speaks about you. So even in these days and times of technology, for yes. example, 
put your cell phone up and start talking to mm -hmm. your cell phone and videotape mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, that schools will accept that information now, but they still want to know key, most importantly, can you write? Mm -hmm. And that's why the essay okay. is very important, whether they require it or not. Okay. So now, where can people find you these days if, if they <laughs> want Tom Butler to come to a church or a school or a Concerned Black Men program or wherever to share your knowledge about this whole financial aid process? Where can they get in touch? Well, I, my, I'm, I have my own little company now. It's called Tom Education. That's spelled with a T. H O M mm -hmm. educates. Mm -hmm. You can find my email is Tom educates at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook, Tom educates. You can find me on Twitter, Tom educates. Uh, you can find me on any of the social media. It. If you use it, even Instagram, well, you can't find Tom educates on Instagram. You'll find personal time on there, but the working time yeah. you can find on, almost on all the working media. All right. Tom educates. There, Thank at, you yes. for educating me no problem, today really. on this edition Always. of news you can use. And we're about to wrap it up. I want to thank you for checking us out this year. We're coming to our anniversary celebration for a newspaper we started in the Allegheny West area of North Philadelphia. If you're in that area, we hope you will check it out. It is a newspaper that I am the managing editor for. We're having a lot of fun with it, and this will be the first time in the history of that community that they've had their own community newspaper. So we're thankful for the opportunity to do that. And for everyone, have a safe, marvelous, wonderful summer, and keep checking out all the great programs here at LaSalle TV 56, also at Verizon Fios Channel 36. I'm Thera Martin and Milling, once again, remember, life is fragile. Handle it with prayer. And everybody be safe this summer. Thank you.